he said they make it loud the pump on purpose because it's such a scary Mm -hmm. iconic noise that then you hopefully don't even have to shoot them because they're like oh it's a shotgun yeah it would be an upsetting sound to hear behind you (laughs) i've actually (laughs) had it yeah i when i my the last time i got arrested in um up in Spencerport, New York, near, near Rochester, I got drunk. My last time I got drunk, too, actually. Last time I ever drank or used drugs, um, I was 15. And uh, we stole a gumball machine. We uh, Like the movie we, Sleepers, where they stole the cart and you had to go to reform yeah, school? I did. I did. <laughs> yeah. Kevin Bacon did things to you. <laughs> no, nobody, unfortunately... Nobody did anything to me. I didn't. I've never had that experience. You stole but, yeah. a gumball machine. How old were you? Fifteen. Thirty-two. Oh. <laughs> Thirty-two. Yeah. I was trying. I was in my thirty. I was a kid in my thirties. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I stole it, uh, and we took. I took the gum and the quarters, mm. and we ran. We ran away down from the cops. I jumped a fence. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is leading to a shotgun sound. This- and I jumped a fence, and as I landed, I heard, Ch-ch-ch, and the cop had a shotgun at my head. A cop and pumped he, a shotgun and put it to your head because you stole gumballs. <laughs> well, he he wa- he got me out to the lawn of this person's house. Wow. Put me on my knees, told me to get my knees, and then the other cop came over, and he goes, if he moves, shoot him. And I went, it was gum. I was Hold like, what you? the fuck? 15. Yeah, that's like, able, even very young, you'd be like, this seems like harsher than I would have thought. It was a little uh, a little well, what harsh. What do they call you? Black Irish, huh? Now we know where the name <laughs> comes from. <laughs> I I went to juvie jail that night. How long and, did you do juvie jail? Well, juvie jail is not, from, you know, for really terrible, like rape and assault or something you would do spend a lot of time in bad ones that was a bad one rochester was not a fun juvie jail wasn't a it was probably one of the worst ones i was in but i was only in there for a week because i was a ward of the state of massachusetts because i went to jail in massachusetts first so when you become a ward of the state they own you so you get in trouble anywhere they just ship you back to massachusetts you go to jail there Mm. so i went to jail there for a week and then I got on a plane and flew back to Boston. They, you know, they met me at the plane with, you know, two state troopers and handcuffed me and took wow. me to a courthouse. And um, then I went, uh, spent the day there. And then they send you to dispatch. And then they send you to another juvie jail. So probably maybe three months I was in jail. And then I went to a rehab for a year in two months. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, you don't spend a lot of time in juvie jail. It's usually three, four, six months, and then they ship you out to a foster home or a some type of uh, uh, outer care, you know, where you'll go home, but you have to meet with somebody three or four times a week. Um, that's why they say, you know, do you ever, you know, do you ever have to blow guys in jail? It's like, dude, you're getting out in three months. Yeah, I if wanted you, to it, do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you're sucking dick in juvie jail, you're gay. Yeah, I mean, you just, you just, you couldn't wait a week, a couple months for yeah. three whole months. <laughs> because I can't get right. Because I can't get right.